So today we're going to look at the transformer nameplate. In, in particular, we're going to look at the high voltage rating of the transformer nameplate and why this is important. This is going to determine what kind of primary connection you make, whether it's a phase to phase or a phase to ground connection. So notice the high voltages are reversed, meaning it reads 20,800 slash 12,000 instead of 12,000 slash 20,800. This is true whenever a transformer has only one primary bushing. You also see this on underground transformers as well. So the first number I want to look at is the lower number of the two on that high voltage rating. And we're going to, it's at 12,000 volts. The lower number is important because that's what the primary coil of the transformer is rated for. So the insulation on that primary coil is rated for 12,000 volts for this application. If you go above 12,000 volts on this particular transformer, then you're going to burn up the insulation and ruin the transformer. And if you go below, then you're not going to get the right secondary voltage. So that lower number of the two is really important because that's what the transformer is rated for. So now our second number, the 20,800 volts, this is the system voltage. And think of that as like your phase-to-phase -phase connection. Well, right next to that number is the letters GRD and Y. What this indicates is that the neutral end, that one end of the primary coil, has to be connected to, the, to a neutral or to a ground. So over on the right, we've got a connection made. And notice there's only one primary bushing. That primary bushing has got to be connected up to the phase. And then the other end of this primary coil is connected to ground down here. So the primary coil in this transformer has one end of it connected to this bushing. And then the other end is going down to the case ground. And that's where you get your ground from. So just remember, you're not actually making a connection inside the transformer. Your connections are made to ground on the case ground on the outside of the transformer, and then also on the uh, primary bushing up to the phase. So for this particular transformer, remember we've got 12,000 volts as our lower number. So our phase to ground voltage, it needs to be 12,000 volts in order for this transformer to work properly. It can only be connected as a, as a phase to ground connection one, because it only has one primary bushing. And then also the GRDY over here indicates as well that it needs to be a, a grounded Y connection, a phase to ground connection. All right, well, that's it for a phase to ground connection. Uh, thanks a lot.